Alright, today I'm gonna show you how to get any picture onto the Google logo, on the, onto the Google.com logo right here. I'm gonna be trying to put the Cleverbot and little animation onto the Google homepage. So first of all, what you're gonna need to do is either get the, brow the web browser Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. And you can do this on a PC or a Mac. So first of all, if you're on a fire, if you're if you use Firefox, go to Google search search um, yeah, search Firefox add-ons. You'll you'll find this. Well, mine is my I have my own toolbar, but it would be the same for Google. And on Google, if you click the first one, you come to this page. Go to the search for add-ons bar. Type in Firebug. Download the first add-on and then just restart your and then just follow what it tells you to do and eventually you'll restart your browser and when you right click you'll have inspect element right here. So that's it for Firefox. And in Google Chrome, pretty much when you install it you already have inspect element, so you don't really need to do anything. So what you need to do is right click the photo. And it can't be like an address or something, it has to be a photo. And do copy image URL. After that, cl cl right click the Google logo and click inspect element. You'll see a highlighted, the, a blue highlighted um, bar line here that has dash images dash logos dash ps underscore logo to dot png. Right click that, click edit as HTML, delete what's inside the quotes, well, the, the slash images, dot, dot, dot. Just delete that, and then paste paste um, the URL that you copied earlier. And after that, just click the X, and it should be there, even the animations of the 99 cents and stuff. Like that. If you wanted, you can do this with any picture. Just go to tinypic.com. And you can upload photos, and then from that you can put the pictures here. So you can put like a picture of yourself on Google. That's just kind of cool, I guess. Um, bye. I forgot to say, um, but if you just reload the page, just go to Google.com again. It'll go away and turn back into the regular Google logo. So, like, you can't just go to your friend's house and go to Google and say, ooh, look, it's a picture of me. You can't do that. And, or, like, if you just leave it there for a couple months and then come back, it'll still be there. No. If you just reload it, it'll turn back into regular Google, and that's pretty much it. Every time you want it there, you have to go back to inspect element, element and then just put it back. That's it. Um, bye.